Welcome back to Paradise TV. We have been hitting the waters thanks to the Freedom Boat Club. As a member of their club, you can get access to their entire fleet, including boats just like this one. Oh yeah, one of the most popular activities that you can do while boating out here in Southwest Florida is diving. You never know what you're going to find, what treasure you're going to find under the sea, including artwork. Hold your breath and take a look at this. 30 miles off the coast of Fort Myers and 90 feet below, you will find the USS Mohawk. It was scuttled there in 2012 to make an artificial reef, a veteran's memorial, and an underwater treasure for fish and divers. You know, she's taken on a life of her own. Um, some of her characteristics as a vessel are uh, diminishing while the reef part of her, the underwater sea life, are growing. And for a short time this year, this World War II era cutter baited art enthusiasts too. The Mohawk served as an underwater art gallery called the Sinking World Exhibition. Andreas Frank is an Austrian photographer and diver. It was his dream to combine both passions for a truly unique art exhibit. To go to the best places, best spots in the world, go wreck diving, bring both things together, diving and photography, and this is, couldn't be better. Here's how he did it. First, he dove the Mohawk and took pictures. Then once back in a studio, he photographed 1940s styled models and superimposed them on the images. The artwork was then sealed in plexiglass, and with the help of about 80 divers, they went back to the Mohawk and installed the 12 pieces of artwork. The last step was letting nature take its course. The photograph stayed on the shipwreck for a few months before servicing here at the Alliance for the Arts in Fort Myers for the second phase of the art exhibit on land. Part of it was the taking of the pictures and putting the models in the correct places, but the other part that you just cannot recreate, even if you tried a million times, was the part that nature put on the ship. It's something unique, something that's really never been done before and he lets Mother Nature uh, sculpture his photographs. I think it's like a dream world. It's a rare amount of people who know how a shipwreck looks down there. And so I give them the chance, look, this is how it looks, and, if, and maybe there's life on it. Proving life here in paradise, both underwater and above, is something truly unique. Artists here in paradise really can use anything as their canvas. So true. All of this unique art is just one of the wonderful things about living here in Southwest Florida. And I don't know about you, but I am feeling pretty inspired just being out here on the water in our boat. So true, so true. Well, I hope you've been learning some nautical lingo, because now it is time to reveal the answer to our trivia question. Earlier in the show, we asked you, what is the left side of a boat called? And the answer, the left side of the boat is the port side, which comes from the practice of sailors securing ships on the left side at port to prevent the steering oar from being crushed. All right, Carly, so if the left side of the boat is called port, do you know what you call the right side? I don't. I should. Starboard. Oh, that's right. That's right. <laughs> All right, next week on Paradise TV. Fierce felines are on the prowl. We drive a car that really purrs. And the cast of Cats makes over Carly. All right, we've docked. Thanks so much for spending time with us this evening with the Freedom Boat Club. And this is the best part. We don't have to do anything. We don't have to clean the boat. We're ready to go. Let's go. Let's go. We'll see you next week in paradise.